Hello there. Recently, Flash Force released their new Adventure 5M Pro 3D printer. This is a silent enclosed Core XY 3D printer capable of printing a Benji in 40 minutes. Yes, it has 600mm per second speed and 20k acceleration. We can set up this printer within just 10 minutes and it has one click auto bed leveling, dual air filtration, quick changeable nozzle, inbuilt camera, 4.3 inch color touch screen, etc. So in this video, let's see the full details of this Flash Force Adventure 5M Pro. Now let's get started with this video. The printer comes in this half meter cube cardboard box. It was already opened by customs. Now let's open it again. First I got the manual with a pen drive. Now let's remove the protective sponge and free the printer. This printer weighs about 80 kg, so somewhere I lifted the printer. So here it is. The size of this machine is about 380 by 400 by 453 mm and the complete body is made with metal except the windows. On the back side you can see two yellow arrows that's the slot for spool holder. And these slots is for adjusting the belt. Then you can see the Ethernet socket, power button and power socket. On the downside, we can see the stepper belt driven mechanism. Now I removed the protective stickers from the printer and opened the top window. Inside the printer, we can see the accessories, great way to save the space. First we got a small spool of high speed titanium filament which is about 250 gram. Then a box full of tools, we will see that in a minute. Finally we got the power cord. Now let's remove the sponge from the printer. For that pull out the small sponge, move the extruder, then remove the big sponge. Now you can see inside of the printer, it got 220mm cube print volume. This is a double sided 220 by 220mm PEA build plate with a handle and it has a bracket on the bed for easy placing. Inside the chamber, you can see a big cooling fan. Then it has two carbon filters. And talking about that, this printer has internal filtration and external filtration modes. In internal filtration, it filters and circulates the air inside the cavity. This is good for ABS and high temperature printing. In external filtration, air drawn from the outside and filtered. This printer comes with a camera. We can take pictures and time lapse video. It has also a LED flashlight. Here is the direct drive extruder. We can simply open the extruder by pressing. We can see a cooling fan also here. To change the nozzle, just press and hold on this red trigger and we can simply remove the nozzle. This is a 0.4mm nozzle. The heating element and thermistor are placed inside the nozzle. You can see the JST connector here. Same way we can replace the nozzle. On the top side, you can see the 4.3 inch color touch display. Then a female USB A type socket for connecting pen drives. Also there is one more power button. Now let's open the toolbox. Inside the box, we got a spool holder, two screws, some grease, a glue stick for hot plate, three allen keys, a 0.6mm nozzle, black color wire cutter, small screwdriver, and a declogging tool. First, I fixed the spool holder on the back side of the printer. Then we have to remove the screws that fixes the bed to the bottom. You can see the yellow markings. After unscrewing them, let's turn on the printer. Now you can see the Flash Force logo on the screen. After that, you can hear a melody sound. I don't know which music is that. If you know, please comment it. Now select the language and click next. Now printer will do some calibration itself. That includes bed leveling, vibration calibration, noise calibration, etc. During the vibration calibration, printer will make weird noise and that's usual, don't worry with that. It took 9 minutes for that. After the calibration process, 
we can load the filament. Now hard work needed. Everything is in the display. Open the filament, cut the end, insert through board and tube, insert the board and tube into the extruder and that's it. Now click on load filament. Now the nozzle will heats up and extrude some filament. After that we can print our first model. You can see the printing speed of this machine, it's an absolute beast. And you can see the print quality, it's also amazing. Now let's print the Benji. This time I applied the glue to the build plate because manual says to apply the glue for all prints. Now let's select the Benji model. And you can see how fast this machine is. It took only 40 minutes to print the Benji. That's 5 times faster when it compared to other normal printers. Also we got a SanDisk 32 GB pen drive. We can plug that in the printer and load files if you want. The touch screen is pretty good. In the settings tab, we can select the Wi-Fi and connect the printer to a network and access the printer via internet. Calibration menu is here. We can set internal and external filtration here and also set the camera settings. We can monitor the printer status via flash cloud site but the problem is we can't access it with any other way. So this is a fast printer that we just saw. Now let's see how loud is this. We can hear high noise when the printer is open and it got decreased when the door is closed. Great. You can hear the clear difference. These are the prints that I made with this printer and the quality is amazing. I am loving this machine so much. So in a nutshell, the Flashforge Adventure 5M Pro is a solid choice for anyone looking to fast 3D printing. Its user-friendly design, reliable performance and high temperature filament capability makes it a strong contender in its category. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced enthusiast, the Adventure 5M Pro offers a satisfying 3D printing experience. So if you are interested, please check it out. Link is given in the video description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.